drop a like if you love Pawn Stars. Hey there everyone, what's up? And welcome back to another video. Pawn Stars has been viewers' one-stop shop for all sorts of entertainment. But one of its most exciting aspects has been the bargaining in every deal. Seeing the dealers break down customers for a price that the pawn shop can make a profit on is weirdly exciting. But every now and then, the dealers may make bad deals too. Here are six terribly bad deals on Pawn Stars. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. All right, let's begin. Six, signed, Jackson. Shoeless Joe Jackson is among one of the legends of baseball. However, Joe Jackson was also illiterate and did not sign a lot of memorabilia. This made his signature not only one of the rarest signatures in sports, but also one of the most faked signatures. In an episode of Pawn Stars, Pete walked in with a signed copy of Joe's own book titled Say It Ain't So, Joe, with a certificate to prove the authenticity of the signature. Pete saw how excited Rick was and quoted $30,000 for the book. After bargaining, a deal was made for $13,000. After the transaction was complete, Two experts told Rick that the signature was indeed a fake. Number five, rift off. Buying something that once belonged to a legend is something, but buying it from the legend himself is an entirely different level. In an episode of Pawn Stars, Vic Flick himself walked into the shop to make a deal. He brought with him his 1961 Fender Stratocaster guitar that he wanted to pawn off. Rick got impressed with all the accolades that Vic Flick listed for him, so Vic was definitely in a position to quote $70,000 to kick off the negotiations. Rick brought in an expert to advise him on the price of the guitar. After some negotiation, Rick was able to bring the price down to $55,000. It was later that Rick realized that the guitar did not have its case and was not completely original. Rick had to sell it at an auction for only $25,000. 4. Oh, Willie. Baseball memorabilia makes quite some appearances on the Pawn Stars. In one of the episodes of Pawn Stars, John brought in an original uniform that was worn by Willie Mays. John started the bidding at $45,000 for the uniform. Before proceeding, Corey got an expert to come in and check the uniform for its authenticity. Once checked, Corey bargained for it and was finally able to buy it for $31,000. However, it was still doubtful that Willie had actually worn it given that the uniform was in immaculate condition. 3. Fake Vintage Vintage is the hook for most sellers that come into the gold and silver pawn shop looking to sell their belongings. Chum Lee was offered a vintage Gibson mandolin by Mark, who had supposedly bought it at a yard sale. Although Chum Lee knew very little about these things, he was forced to make the deal because neither Rick nor Corey were available at the time. Mark asked for $3,000 to start the bidding, but Chum Lee immediately brought down the price. The deal was finally made at a price of $1,500. Chum Lee thought that the mandolin was in great condition and he could make a profit off of it. But really, the mandolin was not vintage at all. It had the modern logo and decals on it that any informed dealer could have recognized. 2. 1968 Ford Mustang Ford was one of the very first automobile manufacturers around the globe, and so there are quite some vintage Fords that you can find. Rick got into a deal for the 1968 Ford Mustang, which was a part of the movie called Bullet. Rick was clearly smitten with the car, even though it was in a pretty bad shape. Eventually, he ended up buying the car for $12,500. However, the car was actually in a pretty bad shape, and the repair cost was preposterous. 1. Stolen Diamonds They say diamonds are a lady's best friend. Maybe if they were a man's best friend, Rick wouldn't be fooled. In 2010, Rick found himself buying a pair of diamonds. The seller had all the relevant information about the diamonds and the paperwork to back his claims. Rick bought the diamond earrings for $40,000. The very next day, the police came searching for the diamonds, saying that they were actually stolen and took them away. There really is no foolproof solution to running a pawn shop, so you can't really blame any of the stars on the show. 
All we can do is thank them for the entertainment they've been providing us for years. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let us know by liking the video. Stick around for more amazing content as we will be soon seeing you in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.